Onward and upward, sir. All right. So um, what is Eagle Eye? Uh, e Eagle Eye is a slight, small, modest proposal, a slight modification to the Unix operating system to get us the data that we need. Um, so uh, Unix is based on a CLI where we're running all these uh, uh, commands. And people have put a lot of time into making them human readable. Um, they're, they're great. You can run top, you can run IO stat, VM stat, system control, and see what your whole system is doing. Right? This is great. Um, the thing is, is that it's for your eyes. Right? It's, it's for you sitting at a terminal. So what about processing this uh, data? How do, we, how do we actually you know, manipulate it? Right? You are doing a lot of work to actually get this uh, uh, data. What about graphing it? There's like, what do you? How do you graph IOSTAT? Like, what do you transform it into? Is there IOSTAT to PNG? Not really. There's a couple of tools for it. We'll get to that. Okay. Uh, what about analyzing it? What about detecting an anomalies? Right. What, what about all the stuff we want to do with our data, but we're still staring at IOSTAT, going, "How do I parse this? Like, how do I get this into my program? You know, like, oh man, the first thing I have to do is write some regex, and that's that's a real problem." Um, I mean, unless you really like writing regex, and then you should see me, because I have a lot of regex for you to write. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do that doing our uh, Django, too. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at the uh, problems. Um, so basically, uh, we we have the you know the whole concept of the shell, which is a, you know, so let's compare. Uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> so... So before, if, for instance, I was on the same machine as Jordan and I wanted to have a good time before I went to lunch, I might run this set of commands. And, you know, I mean, this is all stuff that we can do kind of in our sleep, right? But then when it gets a little more complex, you know, it's a little, you know, you know, it's like, well, I really want to parse this and do that and get the list of kids and do all this stuff. And again, it's like, oh, I'm using awk and doing all this not fun stuff. So let's look at 20 years later. And... Hey, that's what I wrote today. <laughs> the difference is that we're no longer sharing a machine. <laughs> yeah. You are, but it's a virtual machine that you're using, so you think you're not sharing a machine. All right. Do you use the build server? Because that's one machine. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, like, if, 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 why did the build take you so long? I don't want to slide. That's why. Shouldn't just type through. Um... All right, so um, let's let's also talk about uh, like our our systems that are being monitored. So, um, who here likes duplicate code? Anyone a big fan? You're a big fan. Well, of course. His <laughs> 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 um, favorite. <laughs> I mean, my favorite. Okay, so so no one likes duplicate code. Oh, what a bummer! Because we have so much of it. We have tons and tons of duplicate code for parsing the output of all these commands, all over the place. They're like. You know, some people write it in awk, some people write it in sed, some people write it in Perl, Python, Ruby. You know, um, they write it in even more shell. Um, so we have, you know, all these all these great tools for doing this, and each have their own set of like plugins, and they're extensive and they're awesome. Um, and uh, but there there's a lot of duplication there, and there's a lot of effort that have gone into parsing the output of various utilities and various programs. Um, because the program's put it in human readable format and not machine readable format, right? And now you're like, well, these don't actually fit my my needs, so now I have to write my own set of libraries for parsing all these commands. And you sit down, you side bunch, and you're like, well, maybe I'll just parse some of the commands, yeah. or just like, the ones I really need, or maybe the ones that I found my last problem in. And then what happens is you have another problem, and then you have to add more scripts to do it. So you're duplicating more and more code, and eventually you have your own version of Graphite, or Unit, or Collecti, or whatever, and, and you're kind of proud of yourself, but you not really feel kind of dirty inside. So, so here's an example of some of the code in Eagle Eye, because Eagle Eye is only a concept right now. Uh, so this is Eagle Eye parsing the, the output of IOSTAT and putting it into a format that we can, can consume in our uh, graphing tools. And it's, it's, it's ugly, it's boring, it took a while just to get that together. Um, I'm sure if, I'm sure, who, who here could have done this better? There you go. No, 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 I'm not. I, I, I know, no, that's fine. I mean, I mean, there's like, yeah, I mean, there's, there's tons of people that could have done this better. There's a million ways to do it. And you sort of sit there scratching your head. 
I, you know, there's, you know, but, but in the end, you're solving a silly problem. You're, you're solving a problem where the tool is fetching all this data from the kernel, formatting it, getting it all from weird APIs, syscontrol slash proc or whatever, and then, and then you're like, oh, great, now I have to crunch it through shell or do some weird, weird, weird stuff with it. And then, you know, well, now I've wrapped IOSTAT, and all of a sudden people are like, well, I'm deploying some other version of when they with a different kernel on it, little proc changes, little maybe NetBSD, maybe OpenBSD, maybe OS 10. And you're like, oh, cool, I get to write those modules too. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you spend most of your days. So, so, so there's other consequences of human readable format. You know, all all this stuff that we, you know, we, we take all all this time to um, write code and and uh, and make it pretty, uh, but then we wind up frozen. We we just wind up in this state where like. You know, who, who knew DF would look weird when we had terabytes worth of storage, unless it had even readable format, right? Who knew, right? Who, who knew all this stuff? But you can't change the defaults to make it nice now, so you're stuck with the old format because there's years and years of scripts that parsed it, and 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 now what you now you see what you have. How's that go? Now you get what we have today, and it's not very good. Um, we we also found that the output is slow because you're doing all this formatting work to present it, but now you actually are consuming it by your utility. So you're taking all this effort to print it, format it pretty, and then you're taking all this effort to undo all that and get it back into a machine readable format. It it just seems like a, a lot of effort to just undo that effort. Um, so, so. Um, you know, what column is the paid? <laughs> the portability. Uh, your key opening and forking processes over and over again. Um, use of set and off. Still, right? We still do that. That's a That's. Ew. That is not. You bad. forgot cut. Cut paste. Cut. Paste. No, no, cut. Like, <laughs> let's do it all. Let's just like. And TR. Yeah. TR. TR is great. A little bit. You could. You could. You could do a little Perl dash e if you wanted. SH yeah. dash C read. Mm -hmm. like, if I'm really Python, if I'm really yeah. ambitious, I'll do it in Yak. Yak, yes. Oh, wow. and, which I would immediately yak right after. <laughs> yeah. um, you, you, you can do it in in all kinds of ways, but at the end of the day, it's just like, well, I, I did it. Why? Um, and, and then on top of it, you know, it works until there's a space in it, and it's weird when the processing fine, and you're like, oh, I need like find find dash zero xr dash zero. What else works with that? Anything? Uh, anything else take dash zero? Anyone know? What was that question again? Uh, any other command line utilities take dash zero or 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 uh, dash print zero for find, for instance? It, it so so when you have weird characters in in your stream, um, it causes all things to go all kinds of wrong. So I think two of the of the unit commands take uh, flags to actually output null terminate strings, which sort of like puts you on another level of makes you feel better that you're like handling this case, but then it immediately breaks when you just like fork into something else and just like doesn't really work. And then <laughs> all day long, um, all this all this shell code just to get the data that you want out of out of a utility that's trying to help you. It's like it's like I want to help you. Here's this human printable format. <laughs> Look, and you're like, thanks, but no, I need to give that to something else. I don't. I don't need to look at it anymore. I need to actually manipulate it. So, um, what are, what are what are we going to fix? How do we uh, yeah. happy pandas? Can we fix all the things? Yes. <laughs> Can we fix? <laughs> please fix all the things. Please. It's 2013. Please fix <laughs> Can we please fix all the things? Because it's really really bad. Uh, yeah. Um, because we're uh, the new guys, and we've been around for a long time, and some of us are new, some of us are old, but we, we kind of can look around and realize, you know, this isn't right. You know, we, we're on, like, the fourth iteration, fourth generation of graphing tools, and yet we've rewritten all the parsing scripts again, and I'm sure people have internal stuff, I've seen, and who, who hears from Yahoo? Okay. <laughs> Do you like parsing all the output brands? <laughs> 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 My question has been answered. <laughs> we built tools before the other tools existed, so. Ah, okay. So, 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 so today we're going to talk about 
fixing that so we don't have to build these tools. And that's and that's what we're we're pushing for. So um, very nice complaining. Uh, Your complaints were very nice. <laughs> um, so um, we're 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 <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so um, why? Um, well, we just talked about it. We're going to reduce the duplicate code. We're going to reduce the overhead, and we're going to we're going to take the problem. The first problem is the parsing. We're going to get rid of that, so we can actually just get to to work. All right. So how how do we do that? So we modify our utilities to take a, a standard flag and can take a couple of output formats that are easy to parse. We, um, we uh, modify our programs to iterate so we don't have to fork them over and over and over again. We make them a little smarter so uh, PS can uh, iterate. Right, uh, maybe once a second and tell us what's going on in our, our system and give us the output in XML or YAML or CSV. I don't care. They'll, they'll, they'll be DSOs to actually look to uh, do any output out, out format. Doesn't really matter. DSOs? Uh, uh, shared objects. Thank you. Um, um, yeah. What's, what's wrong with DSOs? Five minutes. Uh, I, I could then know what you meant either. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in weird places. Um, so yeah, and, and, and then the other thing is, is to put the some 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 semblance of, of output selectors and filters into the actual commands. So you know if if, if you're outputting uh, a whole bunch of fields, then just select the ones that you actually want. That would be too easy. It would be, wouldn't it? Twenty I mean, years, right? Yeah. It'd be it'd be it'd be pretty cool. Twenty years to come that. Um, and then, and and then we can also include a date that makes sense because I'll pick the first date format that makes sense to me to output in an iterative fashion. And I'm a moron, and it's wrong. I probably have to look at the ISO date, and I'm like stringing together two cents and all this other stuff like that. This is awful. And I, it's like again, the 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 first problem is problems that shouldn't have to face. All right. And now, now that we have all this together, we can graph and monitor all the things. And we don't we don't have to worry about you know, parsing alpha, which is which is uh, a big weight off our shoulders, right? Yay. Yeah. yeah. So um, so the concept is eagle eye. It lives on GitHub. Um, it's it actually in its current form, it actually is yet another thing that parses the output of a number of programs. So you all saw the code earlier. It looks pretty ugly, right, to parse iOS that output. Yeah, you can look at a bunch of uh, plugins for parsing other uh, outputs for other uh, forms. It's all the same sort of ad. Um, but what we're doing, though, is um, socializing this. Socializing the idea that the, the, the work should be pu pushed back into the system utilities themselves. Um, so uh, uh, I talked to a number of developers at a recent BSD can um, who are uh, mostly BSD developers. Who, <laughs> um, and uh, some uh, Solaris guys. Ooh, yay. 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 Okay, yay. some Solaris guys. And, you know, <laughs> after they got used to the way I produced my ideas, which took a little while, <laughs> they were accepting of it. Um, and uh, they said, that's just kind of cool. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. They, they have a number of uh, output utilities for ZFS, and they're really pretty for your eyes. And in ten tends to hurt most. Like, very, very, very frustrating for us. Um, and they're like, we could do this, that'd be cool. So I was like, yes, yes. Yeah, question on the last bullet item. Have you been typing while you've been speaking, or did you fib at the time you wrote that? What do you mean? Well, this last bullet item, giving a demo at Bay Lisa right now? <laughs> well, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm well, talking about... What? He's on the bed. Okay. He's dyslexic. Don't worry. Don't worry. The slides it's are all right. Much. They play puzzle the Alfred. It's, no, 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 I, I get it. I know, right? I get it. I just am like, hmm. um, yeah, yeah, no. So, 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 so I'm socializing here for people to say, oh, this is awesome, or, or, oh, this is terrible. It will end the world. Do we think it will end the world? No. <clears throat> no. Do, do, do we think of the, you, you think it will end the world? No. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I have a question. Sure, sure. Um, um, the world. Aside, other than, than the, the availability of parsers for things like XML and, and 
CSV and stuff that have already been written. Um, those are text formats. JSON would be another one. Right? Sure, sure. JSON, yeah. Those formats were made so that machines can read them, but so could humans. Right. Well, why not bypass all that and go straight to a binary format? If you're just talking about passing a, an amount of data from one wow. binary I, I, object to another binary <coughs> object, why not do it in a, a means which is most efficient for those objects to communicate? Well, well yeah, we could do that. So what, what if that that standard option over there specified the DSO that would the dynamically shared object. The, yeah, the, the DSL. DSO. Sorry, the dot SO. <laughs> so there, DSO dot SO. The dot SO. <laughs> so 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 what if it was something like uh, streams where it, it specified the dot SO to load to format the output for you? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so absolutely. Go ahead. So I will say to raise this point, but it seems like all the commands that you focused on so far in your examples are have one mission goal, which yes. is to externalize data. Yes. By that I mean we're taking something out of the kernel uh, for the most part, mm -hmm. um, which is, is adapted <coughs> providing binary blobs and stuff for requiring bizarre protocols to, uh, to it and, and get that data into human readable form. But you're not talking, and I'm not saying you should, but I'm saying just to be clear, you're not talking about anything at the higher levels where the data has already been externalized and now you're passing it around, parsing it, doing other things with it. You're essentially this is an impedance matching layer for the sole problem of dealing with externalized data. <coughs> Correct? Is that true? So, I, well, I mean, well, yeah. what, what other, what other, um, what other options? Like, what? so, so uh, I guess my assertion is that. that you're, you're focusing on, on a, a narrow stripe, which is, again, <clears throat> parts of Unix that are historically uh, famous for, for sometimes it's time for visualizing some, data. That's sure, but right. sometimes it is time to fix the shed. No, no, I, no, no, no you're, you're missing my point. Uh, my point is that if you look at you know, VM stat, IO mm -hmm. stat, top, PS, sure. right? Their, the mission of all these commands, again, is to talk to the kernel or some other, you know, highly opaque source of data, pull that data out, and then present it to a human. Mm -hmm. Once you've distilled it down to that point, you can also ask yourself a more fundamental question, which is, why not have a single daemon that pulls this for me, and I talk to the daemon to get the data in JSON format or in XML? That's, I want to applaud... Uh, Jordan there for offering a suggestion. I'll tell you why. Because I'm on the other end, where I know up until a year ago, there was still a 4.0 machine, a 4.x machine running here at Yahoo, mm -hmm. 4.x. And there are plenty in the field, and we don't want to break them. And so I understand where he's coming from, mm -hmm. and I understand where you're coming from, but I do want to get to where you're talking about. And right now, I want to hear about Eagle Eye. Right. So, I, I, so, I just thought, so I want like a different perspective on how you can solve the problem. That's all. Oh yeah, for sure. But I, I, mean, I mean, this is again, this is a modest proposal. This is this is fixing the output of a bunch of utilities. When you start talking to, you know, people about centralizing stuff, and there's a game in that runs and asks a bunch of stats and whatever, it, it just becomes this intractable. Um, the problem with that is, yeah. and 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 really, the people I've talked to is, well, there's a couple problems with this because. I could do something better, but I don't really have time for that, so this is okay. And and that's what gives me hope, is that is 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 that pe people will say, well, you know what, this takes us, this solves a, a uh, problem in a very low way. We don't have to think about um, a daemon, we don't have to think about where that runs, when it <coughs> crashes, when does it start up in our RC scripts? Like, what, but we have to add new flags to PS and IOSTAT and... Yeah, shut up. And, and you don't... Shut <laughs> up, it's easy. And, and you don't you don't see any bike sheds being built somewhere along the way to that because you're not now you're touching canon right you're going after cherished commands that yeah. Dennis Ritchie crafted with his own two hands. When's, when's the last time anyone committed anything to LS? You know to the to the source ball is LS. Yeah. Oh, so so we're gonna stand on those grounds. I mean, but I, I mean, I'm not saying it's not impossible, but you're like challenging the foundations of the earth. 
Yeah, right. I, 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 I know the what do you call it? But it's strange, though, right? The output, the output of ls becoming like like having a flag. Yeah. Dash output. If you could do ls dash f json and then oh. spit everything out as json. God, yes. <laughs> that would just like that would blow my mind. If it, I could just do dash f json on every shell utility. Would it be would it would it be good? That would be awesome. Yes. So, so when someone, someone says no, they yeah. tell them to go. Themselves. Yeah. 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 Ah, but so that's your answer. Why not create a demon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second here. Because I, because I the, know why I don't want to create a demon, but I'm going to let Alfred talk. Uh, because because <coughs> this was a um, um, uh, uh, spur of the moment. Let's let's solve a problem easily. Let's not socialize the demon. Let's just let's just do it. Uh, let's just mm -hmm. get this started. I, I mean, that sort of also echoes Rob Pike's, like, can't be considered harmful, which he responded to maybe a decade or two after he wrote it, where he's like, oh, yeah, that argument lost is that the fact is sort of like a pearl, right? Like, it's okay to expand some some canon, I think. Like, Unix is old. It's very old. Yeah, I mean, like, like I mean, I, I could see picking and saying, like, oh, you want to use the, you, um, Alfred, it's very interesting, you use the dash E flag. Does anyone else use the dash E flag? And I would say, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> jump out the window real quick. <laughs> but you can, you can go to Unicode. But yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, yeah, we, we're, we, we're using long ops that have a very, very slight chance of a, a collision there. Um, so, so this is a really modest, small change that we can make that will have pretty useful utility, I think. Can um, I give you the big plus for me? Yeah, sure. Or somebody can do something like that? I can use now two dozen different utilities that all have their own pretty types of fluorescent colors and pastels, yeah. not to mention their various fonts. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I'm a little too aesthetic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please right. continue, sir. All right. So, uh, so, so um, I, I, um, I convinced a number of people in FreeBSD that we're, that if I started committing stuff to do this, I think we okay with it. Pending. What? Yeah. It's <laughs> insanity. I talked to John Baldwin. I talked to uh, what? Talked to a number of people and they were like, that's crazy. But it's okay. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah. So so they're into it. So we're going to keep talking about oh, this. Until PHP backs it up. <laughs> <laughs> Not um, good. And then, you know, so 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 then the next step is like, you know, is is getting ideas from the Linux community. Like, you know, you know maybe we should use PSOs. Or uh, auto sales, uh <laughs> to um, uh, you know the uh, you know like like could we could we get it a little bit better in the first pass? Let's not you know let's not go to the extent of writing a game because that's insane. Um, <laughs> yeah, we would do that. <laughs> that's 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 well uh, well what do you call it? well we what you know but let's let's talk about it. Let's um, see what we we can do you know in a, a weekend of hacking so all of a sudden LS is is possible like, easily. Um, JSON, right? Or yeah, actually, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Flat yeah. file. Yeah, like popen dash XML. Cool. Oh, Super cool. odd. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Totally yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> 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 Is that a self-portrait there? Yeah, that's. No, that's not. Uh, Maybe Jesse's not screwed. No. <laughs> I'm patient. I'm patient. I'm welcoming you here today, Jordan. I, I'm glad you're here. I'm when, really happy. When is 3.6 BSD 0? What's that? that? Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> hey. Well, you said your patience. I figured you might be still working on it. Uh, yeah, me and Bill are still working on a secret. Right We're going to get a release out pretty soon. Uh, within 10 years or so. As, as far as I heard, Murray's offered to write a, a demon that, that links up to OpenTSDB. And so just get started. <laughs> open, open, open PSTD after this. <laughs> <laughs> and Google's fun. That's what I feel like after this talk. Hey, you can't see this. Hey, how about those graphs, guys? How about those graphs? I want to see those graphs we made. They're terrible. They really? Awful things. The, uh, so, what, what are you showing us? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so the, the, yes, this is the least controversial part. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I love my data. I don't care how I get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Wow. So, um, uh, so we were, you know, we had, uh, uh, we were trying to trace a couple problems that we were, we're having in a development, and uh, 
you know, be uh, quite likely to lose your keys. Um, the data points that you're looking for are the last place that you look, right? You know, you're like, where's my keys? Where's my keys? Oh, here they are, the last place I look. Where's my data points? Where's my data? You keep adding more and more modules. And I said, I want a fire hose of data. And I want it quickly and I want it now. So we just wrote a bunch of cell scripts to actually um, sort of emulate the eagle eye, another layer, of course, and then we just we just drafted using R. It's pretty pretty horrific, but uh, we we can get this uh, on the customer box really quickly and get back uh, almost everything. And I thought to myself after starting to do this, they're like, "Well, you're duplicating code." I was like, "Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, it's just like everyone else's." Um, I don't mind. I said, "You know, how how can I fix that problem?" Uh, so uh, you know, basically, this is this is the output of uh, Eagle Eye. It uh, you know it. It, it'll run on a FreeBSD system, um, and it will gather all this data. Um, and then, uh, because it, it, it takes all the output and um, makes it uniform, um, it's one format that we can post-process it in a lot of different ways, just like every other graphing program out there, really. Um, I'm sure there's a, a in, in Union and Graphine, all those other guys, they have intermediate format. So again, you know, Eagle Eye is, isn't really about the graphs. It's about it's about pushing that back into the, into the code. It's about upstreaming it. So, so the LS maintainer maintains it and doesn't break my, my scripts or the DF maintainer does it. You could you could really make a difference. <laughs> 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 Probably not changing. My I mean, like, like, yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, this is like the dirty the dirty way of doing it. But what yeah. if I could sure. just run IO stat dash whatever and it spit it out of exactly. it's a standardized format? Exactly. Or not. Holy crap, what if it could IO stat dash the SO? Would pipe it to a table. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Holy crap! Wow! I just shouldn't have the name of the script because I don't have a fucking goddamn command for it. Uh, well, no, but if you actually, if, if you if you pay attention to the talk, you would notice that. Uh, <laughs> the, or to George's <laughs> point, you don't want it to collect the expensive ones unless somebody's actually asking for the data. You can have sure. a very complex metric, and you don't, you don't right. want to be getting that every right. second and in case somebody might ask. Exactly. Oh, I see. Yeah. The, the name of the name of the That was the other point George made about. Yep. Sure. Yep. That's that's far too intelligent. Yeah, that will take a long time. That's far too intelligent. Uh, yeah, I hope it's really hard. hard. No, no, no. I believe you want to say the problem with that is. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, I mean, there's really no problem with that. But the 24 hours that we have in the day. Well, I mean, I, 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 I would challenge uh, you to do one thing to have a bit more credibility for the, let's go hack the let's go hack all the commands <laughs> with uh, what's your faces graphic up there. I, I can uh, give him one. Shut up, Jesse. Uh, wait, wait a minute, here. hold on a second. Well, I, I haven't finished I, my I'm sentence. I'm impatient, I'll let you finish. Uh, okay. but you're patient. Well, my, my point was, is that I would like to see the proposed IOSTAT arguments, right? You're going to redesign that command to do all, to essentially give you the equivalent of, why don't you propose and something? And get the BSD, Linux, and Linux involved. That's why I'm here. Involved, uh, oh, right. That's why, that's, that's why I'm, I'm here. Yeah. 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 But, 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 but you're making the assertion that it's, it's, it's easier to go hack all the commands, and that's the right direction to go in. I'm just saying, if, if that's your argument, it would be interesting to see some supporting evidence rather than showing where some prototype or, you know, what the commands look like. What are the arguments look like? Well, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, I, I'm going to start doing that. I mean, I, I didn't get too many boos when I showed the proposed uh, arguments. So it's, and I kind of cobbled them together just the last couple of days. So I'm thinking that that's probably what we're going to look at. Well, I was thinking about the IOSTAT one. Because when I looked at that, when I thought of that one, I said, well, yeah, just get a folding editor and collapse everything between the braces. And IOSTAT under bar command is the command. Right? Oh. I mean, that, that, that's Sorry? That, I just had another argument. If you look, bring up your slide. You you have you have a lot of implementation. Oh, God. Or create a new presentation. <laughs> yeah, either way. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is the easiest. Nineteen. Uh, I'll, I don't know. This is hard. Page nineteen. I know what he's talking about. I'm not really. I'm, I'm not really that smart. Go to slides. Press right arrow nineteen times. Right. Don't overcomplicate it. Right there. Right there. That's what he wants. So yeah. So instead of as a function, that's the command. Right. This is an implementation detail. Fold it. I don't care. I'm not even going to read that. I'm looking at that. So I'm just saying, if you're creating this abstraction. 
you know, I, I can slice that in any number of different ways. Or I would say, all right, well, what's the alternative to IOS done under Bart's command's implementation in the new way? Are we going to be talking about this for the next 20 years, Jordan? No, no, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to see that we are. <laughs>